Okay, so <laughs> I'm using this community feature and I think that what I wanna do is on the community feature, sometimes when I get like random questions, I just wanna answer it in video uh, that are not as much pertain to OCD, but just like, so <laughs> the banana. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal about the banana. I I have had this painting since, oh my God, let's see. I, I mean, I think I got it in like 2008 or something, 13 years ago. It was randomly hanging in this restaurant in um, Oak Creek, Colorado, which is outside of Steamo Springs, okay? And <laughs> I saw it, and at the time I was dating an artist, and um, he liked the painting, he was like, oh, that's a good banana or whatever. So I got it for him for his birthday. <laughs> like I went back to this random restaurant and bought this painting and gave it to him for his birthday. Well, and then we broke up <laughs> and he asked me if I wanted to keep the banana and we're on great terms. He's still a good friend of mine, but um, I said, yes, I would love to have the banana because I just loved it, right? Well, then I moved down to Denver years later and this is when I started doing advocacy for OCD. I mean, random, if you scroll down on the YouTube channel, like some random videos I did like five or six years ago. But someone pointed out one time, it's almost like find the banana in the photo <laughs> or in the video. Because it was always there no matter where I was living. The banana was always there. And I didn't even realize that. So I was like, oh, yay, banana. Well, then I moved to an apartment in Littleton, which is where... Um, I really started doing a lot of videos, like my earlier videos from like three and four years ago. That, that was that apartment. Well, the banana was there, okay? <laughs> well, I have a friend <laughs> who has OCD and <laughs> he was struggling with sexual orientation OCD and um, for years, you know, and of course didn't know what it was because no one knows what OCD is <laughs> until they find out and it's usually years later. And he used to get triggered by bananas <laughs> because when he would see bananas, he would think, <laughs> I mean, come on, you get it, right? I mean, he would see the bananas and his mouth would start watering because he was like, maybe I want to suck the banana. <laughs> oh, so anyway, he was like, why do you have that goddamn banana? Anna in every photo it's triggering to everyone and I did not even think about it right I mean when I had sexual orientation OCD I used to get triggered by orchid orchids because the orchid looks like a vagina and so I would see it and be like oh that's pretty oh my god why did I think that's pretty what does that mean what does that say about me yeah, 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 yeah. like what it, this is proof or something so anyway that's where the banana kind of like it evolved but then it stays up kind of as like a permanent trigger. Now, what you don't know <laughs> is that I also have another triggering painting right here. <laughs> it's a slice of a grapefruit. <laughs> but I feel like it's so triggering for people that like I, I sometimes am like, like sometimes during groups I'll be like this. Anyway, so just had to have things that were equally as triggering for people. So that's the story about the banana and that's why it's almost like my logo now. <laughs>